Hey guys, what's going on? How's your day going so far? What's going on all the way in the Netherlands, fur? What's going on, Ryan? How's it going, man? Fatal, I'm doing awesome. Thanks for asking. Hey, Bean. Sauce, what's up, man? Just getting some stuff set up over here right now. Awesome, Fur. You want to hear about the wild boar hunt? Oh, it was quite interesting. It was definitely quite interesting. I'll tell you about it. Hey, all the way from South Africa. How's it going? Yeah, Bobby, I understand that. I mean, typically it takes between like 1,000 and 2,000 animals before you potentially get one. But at the same time, I like to hunt as many different spots as I possibly can. Not just go over and over the same spots. Yeah, we're going to be doing something pretty cool today as well. Halfway through the uh, stream. And I think I can do that after, right? Yeah, that one makes sense. Why would I put that in there now? Hmm. Where'd it go? There. Yeah, there is a vid on it. There is. You really couldn't tell exactly what happened, especially during the first day. Like we covered, we covered miles the first day and never saw a single animal. I'm not kidding. And last year when we went, um, I got one within five minutes. What's going on, Sebastian? How's it going, man? Oh, I'm glad you like that, muck dog. Thanks, man. All right, so please tell me things are smooth over here. There's a lot of things to get set up, but now we're going to turn these off. And that should be good. Um, I'm going to put this in here, too. And yeah, cool stuff, cool stuff, cool stuff. Actually, you got your white tail 487 kills into the great one grind. That's incredible, Bobby. You got super lucky on that, man. Congrats. Hey, I appreciate that JB dog. That's awesome, man. What's going on, Martin? How's it going all the way from New Zealand? Nathan, what's up, man? Man, I really wish I could make this bigger. Can I make that bigger? Zoom. Larger. Oh, dude, I figured it out. That's awesome. I didn't know I could do that. Hey, happy Valentine's to you, too. Happy Valentine's, everybody. All right, that looks cool. I'm glad you're looking forward to it, Fur. 
Yeah, there's a lot of people in school right now still, huh? Hey, Dolly, how's it going? Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have to definitely get rid of this. It's causing some major lag. I think I can get rid of that. Oh, we got a gray fox calling already down here. It's a male too. Yesterday we got a beautiful level seven right at the end of the hunt. And it was pretty sweet because we took him down with the air rifle as well. Well, we got a good win. We could probably try and call him in. Hey, happy Valentine's all the way from Oklahoma. If it's a male, we're going to call him in. Oh, things are looking pretty smooth so far. All right. What's the loot dude? I don't know what that means. I really don't know what that means. You know, that's hunting though. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Most of the time you don't. Like when I go whitetail hunting, I'll go out 10, 15 times and one of those times I might see deer or at least, you know, a buck that I want to get. There's a good chance I'll probably see deer almost every single night, but if you're not going to see the right one, then it's like you're not really going to get them. Boy, these fox you really have to have a lot of patience for. Yeah, he's not coming in. Well, the thing is, he could be coming in, but he just might be kind of far out, and we don't know how far out he is. I believe this call goes out to like 215 yards. You're in North Carolina, Bobby. That's awesome, man. Um, I hunt private land. Yeah, my well for bow hunting, my dad's a farmer, so we have a lot of cornfield rows, brush rows, corn uh soybean fields to hunt. But I hunt public too sometimes. Actually I got my second biggest buck ever on public land when I was eighteen. So, you know, there's giants on public too. You gotta get lucky though. Super, super lucky. Alright, what time we got? Thirteen hundred. So it's good time for moose. This fox doesn't want to show himself. I love having fox come into the call though. It's just like so awesome. So what we might do is try and jump him up. We'll go over there and see if we can't jump him up. Along the way to our spot. Dude, he was right there. Like, are you kidding me? Come on. Really? <laughs> How long does it take you to come into the call? He was right there. Luckily, I don't think he spooked though. I think he's just like right down below us. Hopefully he's not very big because otherwise he probably will spook. These fox are incredibly spookish. If we crouched up, we might be able to see... No. Well, let's ease our way over there and get a little bit closer. Hey, Rock, what's going on, man? Uh, I believe we're going on five years now. 2017, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, like five and a half years, something like that. What's going on, Cooper, man? Ooh, Max Weight Gobbler Track. We're using the AR-308, we're using the air rifle, and then we're also Smoked using... Him. Thank you so much for becoming a member. ...the recurve bow. Right now, we're trying to use the air rifle on this red fox, which loves to disappear on us. Dude, he came in completely invisible and then started calling as soon as we got up and started running over here. But since he called twice, the second call should be a warning call. And that basically means that he shouldn't have ran. In other words, he'd have no reason to run because he'd already be calmed down by then. But we also should be able to see him right now. Boy, they're so smart. Okay. Even though I'm like 90% sure that fox is still right here. I feel like we should try and get closer. Hey, we got a new member. Welcome to the channel, Joyce Williams. Thank you so much for becoming a member and welcome to hashtag hunters. It's an honor to have you here. All right. Where are you at, Fox? You win. We're going to spook you. Where are you? Like, seriously. See, this is the kind of stuff that you guys don't see in any of the videos. Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? We got another hunter. Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. Dude, there's our fox. We finally found him. He's out there at 130 yards. It's a sweet looking gray fox too. And we should be able to call him in from there. At least we finally got eyes on him and we know what we're dealing with here. Finally. Oh, heck yeah. You got a Matthews VXR. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I shoot a Hoyt um, RX-5 Ultra. With a 31 and a half inch draw. Alright, now we're gonna get this fox. Thank you so much, Joyce. Love watching the videos and awesome hunts. I really, really appreciate that. Glad you like the videos. And also, again, thanks so much for becoming a member. Oh, here he comes. Oh my god, here he comes. Finally, he's coming in. I don't even know what it is yet. It's a five medium, but it's a sweet looking fox. It's a gray, gray fox. Holding tight right out there at 107 yards. So 50 yards should be pretty much perfect if we hold it. Oh, you know what? Let's just actually let him come a little bit closer here. Watch him. Watch him. Right there, he's about 60. So all he's got to do now is slow down. And we'll have a shot. gonna stop right behind that tree that would almost be a shot but that I was gonna say is definitely a shot but then he started moving on us watch him there he is there he is man that thing's got to be 40 yards out maybe even less at this point every time he stops right behind a branch or a tree seriously well, you didn't that time. <laughs> oh, that was so perfect. Went right through that little crotch right there and smoked that fox. Got him with the air rifle. Man, I love this thing. It is so awesome to use. Especially if you're going for long distance shots and you're trying to be quiet as well. Hey, nice man. What's up? Just got our first animal down here. <laughs> I know we're hunting for the great one, but I mean, we got a great fox coming in here. We can't pass that up. 4.80 and a perfect double lung shot right behind the back of the heart. Took him at 68 yards. Hey, thank you so much, Vixie. I appreciate that. That means a lot. 
That means a whole lot. Thank you so much. Now, this spot over here is actually where we had another big bull recently as well. So we're going to go swing by over there and check that out. The secret to getting super rares and diamonds. Yeah, well, if you know that, then that's super, super lucky on your part. But I mean, for the most part, people have to hunt really hard to get stuff like that. The Minnesota Hunter, how the heck have you been? You're going to hunt some wooded grouse on the Hunter Classic? That's awesome. Let's see, how long have we been? 17 minutes. Uh, we'll do another 10 minutes here, get a couple more. Around. What's going on, Cody? How's it going, man? I'm doing excellent. Thank you so much for asking. Right now, we're looking for some big bull moose. Hey, Rocky. Just got the game and you're pretty new if you don't mind what weapon pack is the best. Um, so the new one is probably the um, the modern weapon pack, which comes with the AR-308 rifles. And it will also come with the AR-223 uh, as well as 10mm pistol. And the 10mm is quite exceptional, if I do say so myself. I really appreciate that, Vixie. Thank you so much. You learned a lot from the videos. I'm glad to hear that. We got another hunter. Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. Welcome. Public's tough. Public land is very tough to hunt, especially when there's a lot of people hunting the same exact area. You're putting a ton of pressure in one spot and the big animals don't like that pressure. So they always try and avoid that area at all costs. Look at that. Got a rabbit out there. 240 yards. Let's go for a practice shot here. I don't know if I'll hit it, but... Okay, we dropped a tad bit low. That could be money. Oh my god, that was so close. It wasn't even funny. What do we got right there? There's something running. Oh, a fox. A fox. A fox. Where the heck did that fox come from, guys? Another gray fox. 160 yards right there. Now we could definitely take that shot. Should be the bottom dot. But we're going to shoot a little bit high because we're kind of high up here. I don't really want to take him on the walk, but... Oh, I knew we were going to shoot high. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, we dropped low that time though. Holy. Okay, so if we hold that bottom dot right on the heart, we should be perfect. Thanks, Cody. I appreciate that, man. I really don't know where we're hitting. But that should have been perfect. Sometimes this thing is not as accurate as I would like. I mean, for for instance, like you could literally see we we're hitting below it and then we hit above it and we compensated and we just kept doing the same thing basically. But eventually it will work out. All right, where's our spot that I really wanted to go to for moon? Oh no, yeah. Let's go somewhere for a white tail quick here. Yeah, let's go over here. Thank you, Mr. Snowmobile. I appreciate that. You love the models. The Hunter Classic is an excellent game as well. It's just uh, a little bit outdated. So people usually play this game. I still like the Hunter Classic. But sometimes it's nice to, I feel like I see something over there. Is that something? No, it's a, it's a flower. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it's nice to play, you know, a more modern type game. You downloaded fishing clash. 
Oh, look at that. Well, it's interesting that you mentioned that, but we're actually about to go play Fishing Clash right now. So hopefully you can uh, enjoy some of that content. But first off, I'd like to get at least one decent animal here. Hmm. Where was that spot I wanted to go to? Oh, down here. That's the spot. I forgot about that spot. I can't believe I forgot about that spot. This spot is excellent for big bulls and big white tail. How do you like it? Mr. Snowmobile, what's up, man? You're definitely one of my favorite streamers because you don't grind all the time. You actually get out there and hunt. I appreciate that, Chirrut. Thank you so much for appreciating the style that we have when we hunt, man. That means a lot. And honestly, I really wish that there was more people that would just hunt too. But uh, there's just not a lot. You know, I like watching YouTube videos on people playing Call of the Wild hunting as well. And uh, sometimes it's hard to find that, so... I appreciate that you understand the hard work that it goes into it. All right, we gotta change the time. I wanna get out there right when the moose come, but the white tail will still be there. Like right there. Should be perfect. Hey, there we go. We finally got a mod here. What's going on, Big Rack? Welcome in. Glad to have you here. And as soon as we get over here, I'm going to have to turn down the heat because it's getting really warm in here. It's been super cold and then all of a sudden now it's warm again and then it gets cold and then warm. So it's like the temperature... The temperature in Texas is kind of all over the place. It really is. But it's going awesome, man. Thanks so much for asking. How's it going for you, Big Rack? Holy, no wonder it's getting warm in here. It says it's like 76 degrees. Whew. Cooking. It is cooking in here. Hey, Duramax, what's up, man? Great to see you again. Just got an AR-308, man. Love it, and I love seeing you use it. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Cody, you're talking about in Call of the Wilder in real life. What's going on, Gavin? Haven't played in a while. Jumped on your life. How have you been? Hey, it's going awesome. I uh, just got back from doing a hog hunt a week ago and you know everything's going good got all the meat all cleaned up or at least I guess like the uh, the immediate meat everything else is in the freezer good to be here on your spare oh you're on vacation right now nice yeah I definitely do is this map worth it I would say so I definitely would yeah All right, so there should be, let's see, there should be whitetail here and also moose here. Now the moose are interesting because they actually bed right in this thick brush here and then they work their way down this brush row. I've seen them a couple times. And if you don't catch them at the exact moment, you won't get a shot off because they'll just sneak right through the brush and you'll never even see them. Oh, there we go. I'm back from load shedding. We got our... Oh, are you a farmer, Elsby? Ellis? Elsby? Texas. That's right, Steer Rider. How's it going, man? Madden Church, what's going on? So, we're playing on PC right now. What do you play on, Madden? Gonna subscribe and enjoy the vid, but can, can you help me? Animals are hard to find, especially diamonds. You just got to get lucky, watch videos so you can learn kind of the techniques and strategies to use to be able to get lucky enough to get them. 
You know, my dad always said, luck is hard work. You make your own luck. And I believe it's the same thing. All right, so there's the white tail. This spot here was absolutely prime a few weeks ago. I have hunted elk in real life. Yes, I have. Arizona. Yep. I hunted Flagstaff, Arizona when I was 19 years old. And man, it was a rush. The first, like, seven or eight days, we never even saw one. I'm not saying we didn't hear them, because I definitely heard bulls bugling off in the distance. But... We never saw a single bull for the first seven days. And then all of a sudden we saw like four bulls at the same time. So it's pretty exciting when you go from nothing to all of a sudden tons of animals. Okay, are you in... What's going on, Sebastian? How's it going, man? Hello from... Hello from Cyprus. How's it going? Wow, we came to like one of our second, well, I guess it's like our, yeah, probably second or third best whitetail spot, and there was no whitetail here. Where did they run off to? That's really strange. But watch, there'll be a big moose walking through here. It's like they can sense that we're going after them, you know? They just know. They just know that we're here looking for them. All right, well, I'll tell you one thing. I know definitely where... <sighs> Do I know where they are? <laughs> I know where some decent ones are. Actually, yeah, there was a, there was a max weight buck here a couple days ago. Oh, no, wait, Ethan, you're in Austin? Heck yeah, that's awesome. Um, Yeah, I'm by, like, West Texas area. I can't tell you exactly, but let's just say I'm about three hours away from you. What type of bow do I have? I have a Hoyt RX-5 Ultra. Dude, the rut for the elk is absolutely unbelievable. You're right about that. You go out there and you get by some cows, you'll just hear bulls screaming like crazy. It is unbelievable. You can smell them. That's actually a good idea, Chua. I would love to be able to set that up. I saw that he's been streaming now. Did I go the wrong way or what's up? No, I went the right way. Yeah, I saw that he's been streaming and that's pretty cool. He's a great guy. Wow. You have eight diamonds. That's not bad, congrats. There's a white tail. Not a big one, but... Oh, there they are. No wonder why I couldn't see them. They're back in that thick brush over there. I guess that's like the biggest buck in this area, unless that one's bigger. Yeah, that one's a bit bigger. Good bit bigger. What do we have coming in? There's a cow moose. And there's another moose. Two cow moose. There used to be some massive bulls in this area. And I haven't seen many since.
You know, we might go for that shot. If I get a shot on that buck, we just might go for it. That's him right there. That's the one that we want. But we're not going for a Texas heart shot, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, we might. <laughs> might have to. Oh, there we go. Bull moose, bull moose. Oh, not a giant, but definitely a bull. Do I have the right arrows in? No, I don't. That's all right. Let's throw them in real quick. We do now. There's our bull. Took a quartering shot, hit him pretty far back, but that should be. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that wasn't such a good shot. That's all right. He wasn't very big. Hey, there he is. Acorns. How's it going, man? Great to see you here. Right now, we're trying to scout out a good whitetail buck. Oh, there's a moose right there. Good whitetail buck. We had a couple back up in there. There's our buck. 200 yards. And not going to get a shot. Oh, you're talking about the AR-308 and Call of the Wild. That's epic, man. Yeah, so I love my AR-308. And the reason that I like it so much is because I actually just got one in real life the same exact year that it came out in Call of the Wild. So it's pretty cool to be able to have an AR-308, or not just an AR-308, but to have a rifle or weapon in general in real life, the same thing that you have in the game. I just feel like that's such a cool feeling. Okay, so we actually might be able to get a shot off on our buck. If he comes through right there, that's our buck, that's our buck, 270 yards. We're gonna have a bit of drop. You better slow down, buck. You better slow down, buck. Boy, he didn't slow down. I don't think we even hit him. Wow, I've never had such a difficult time trying to get a decent buck. <laughs> wow, why did he just keep on trotting like that? Like, what reason did he have to be so spookish? Hey, hey, Lord Cole, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Hey, ZFG, what's going on, man? Just got back from Idaho. That's epic. Congrats. How'd that go for you? Hey, there's Aurora. How's it going, Aurora? Many years ago, I was lucky enough to see a melanistic fox. You first thought it was a big cat. Whoa, that's incredible. Those are super, super rare. I've never seen one. Hey, DD33 fan. Um, I've never hunted moose in real life, but that sounds like a pretty awesome time. That's definitely one of my dream things to do is hunt for a big bull moose with a bow and arrow for sure. What do I hunt in real life? I hunt whitetail, turkey, grouse, pheasant, duck, um, rabbit, squirrel. Mostly now I just hunt whitetail, turkey, and ducks as well as wild, pig, uh, wild boar as well. All right, so there's moose here. Oh, that's a good spot too. You know what? Let's actually swing over here and maybe there could be whitetail. There should be whitetail here actually. Why wouldn't there be? Yeah, the air rifle works good, but you really got to pay attention to the wind. You definitely got to pay attention to that. Oh, I should have came here during whitetail feed time. That would have been nice. There's a cow moose trotting through.
What map is this? We're out here on the New England Mountains map right now. This is called the Pumpkin Patch. My favorite spot to hunt on this map? I actually just recently found it and that is kind of in the middle end of the map. Right up in the mountains? You only get one bull moose in life? Um, I didn't know that. But is that in Norway you're talking about? Gray Fox. If it's big, we'll go for it. I see it. 95 yards. I feel like we should probably go for it either way. Dude, he's right behind those trees there. Where is he now? It's too hard to see. Well, hello there. What's up, Lord Cole? Hey, Joshua, how's it going? Welcome to your first live stream, man. That's awesome. Glad to have you here. We are trying to find a good whitetail buck and I can't find any whitetails at this point. Like nothing that's actually, I know for a fact there's whitetail here. There was one the other day and I tried to take him at like 150 yards with the air rifle. Don't think I hit it. So we could probably go back there and try and get that one again. Whoa, you've been watching since 30K? Lord Cole? Whoa, I remember that. Oh, it is Norway, okay. That makes sense. Oh, so you have 20 years in points for bull moose and haven't drawn. Is it that difficult to get a bull moose tag? Really? You only get one bull moose, one cow for life. But you can get a tag in Idaho or something like that. Yeah, I'm sure you can get tags in certain places. But I guess in a certain location that you live at, you probably only get one per your life. Now that makes sense. All right, finally, we got eyes on some white tail. Just took almost an eternity to make that happen. And now they're just gonna leave. That's a tiny buck there. This is so funny. It's honestly so funny that like, I, I mean, it doesn't even pay to get like worked up about it because it's just funny. I could come here 50 times and there'd be at least one somewhat decent buck here. And now we come to every single spot and we cannot find one single halfway decent buck. Like we're going to go for a one trivial or does or turkeys. There's the one trivial. <laughs> okay. Got an idea. Let's not hunt during drink time and try and hunt when they're actually all feeding because <laughs> I can't find anything right now. I don't know what happened to all my white tail. Let's get out there in the morning. They should be definitely out in the fields feeding. But yeah, this is uh, quite interesting here. We got to get at least one white tail, one decent buck down. Now, I know they feed out here as well. Let 
There's a chance they might be feeding out there. Hey, well, let's actually go here first. Then we'll switch on over. You were there during the deer drives in 2019. What's wrong with your PC, D33 fan? A52, evening from Finland. My favorite map? Hmm. It's tough. You know, I'd still say Rancho. Rancho, to me, is my top map. Just because there's so many areas where you can see super, super far. And you can spot and stalk all kinds of different animals. And to me, I just like that style of hunting. Hey, Coast Clump, what's up, man? All right, we got a moose track here. Female, cow moose. Okay, so there should be some whitetail out here. I haven't hunted her in a long time. So there should be some whitetail. Don't worry, those... Whoa, even better. A whitetail buck calling. Where is he though? Man, like seriously, where is he? He just called right there. So... Realistically, he should be out in that field there. Got him. Just barely could spot one. There's a doe right there. All right, so if the doe is there, then where is the buck? And this is interesting here. Definitely making it difficult. I'll have to go for a shot on that doe. I'm sure the bucks are probably sleeping in, in that brush row there, maybe. But the thing is, I don't know if there'd be anything big over there or not. So we're going to go over here and check this field. No way, Noah. Congrats on your first ever great one. That's incredible, man. All right, here we go. Are there any whitetails out here? Two hundred twenty yards. They should be actually on the back side of that field there. Which might make for it a little bit difficult to see from here. There they are. Oh my god, and I already see a buck. There we go. We finally got a decent buck. Wow. I've never been more pumped about a 180 plus whitetail buck than right now. But there could be another big buck out there too. So we don't just want to go taking down the first one that we see. Holy, there we go. That is a 190 plus. That is definitely the buck that we're going for. 240 yards. That's going to be kind of a difficult angle for a shot. Not going to lie about that one. I don't know how the heck we're going to pull that off. If we slid over just a little bit right there, we could potentially go for a heart shot. He's stepping forward. Once he picks up his head, that's going to be our chance. Come on, big buck. Woo! We got him. That was a perfect shot. Big buck down. Big buck. Did I say buck? We got ourselves a bear too. <laughs> we got a nice bonus. Nice black bear. Got him about 250 on the run. I was holding for the neck and I think we centered him, but the second shot connected quite well. Because the percentage is going down. 
Holy. Bit of a rocky start, but we're definitely improving now. Wow. Well, that's a pretty big bear. What's going on, Nelkits? How's it going, man? All right, there he lays. Perfect shot on a beautiful white tail buck. And the bear went down as well. Actually, where was that bear? Right over here. I'm gonna check, check the track on the bear. Well, we'll see what kind of blood we got, I should say. Cause I'm kind of curious about that. Here, oh yeah, that's long. That bear is smoked. Put two hits into him as well. Tell you what, let's go find this bear real quick. Wow, I am so amazed at how tough these bear are. Like we literally hit a nice vital hit into them and I don't even see them around here. We're gonna have to turn the tracks on and try and figure out where this thing went. You love the New England mountains? I do too, man. I really like it. Okay, there's blood there. Looks like it ran this way. Um, That's a sow. Oh, okay. There's our bear. Found him. Ran right into him. Thank you, Rock. I appreciate that, man. We waited for the right moment, and we smoked him. Look at that. Got him at 226 yards on the run, right in the neck. Follow-up shot got him right in the right lung. 15.8 and 1,000 cash on that dusky black bear. So that was pretty cool. And that was a nice little bonus. All right, now let's go over here. Don't use the dog. We literally finally got our first nice buck down. And he is laying right here. All right, let's go over here and go pick him up. And take a look at this buck. Forty thousand. <laughs> oh my god, really? That is a lot. Unbelievable. Yeah, no, I don't use a dog. And we did in fact pull off a perfect heart shot, guys. 235 yard perfect heart shot on a beautiful 192 white tail buck right there there we go what a heck of a shot had to wait for that perfect moment and we made it happen all right well that was pretty awesome all right now we're gonna go check out a super cool game that you guys should all try out it's it's pretty awesome i just got to figure out how to do that right now well without closing this out i can probably find it here Can I do that? Oh, there we go. Got it. Sweet. All right. So now we're going to go check out an awesome fishing game. And let's see if this works.
Oh, that's not going to work. You guys can probably see what I can see. Well, just one second. All right, so that should be working now. I don't like to use a dog because a lot of times they kind of get in your way and so many times I've had a big buck walk past where I was about to take the shot and then the dog got my way and it wouldn't let me shoot. That's why I don't have a dog. All right, just got to load in here. This is my first time playing on a computer, so it's a little bit different for me. <laughs> Some behind the scenes. Yeah, I know, right? That's basically what it was. Okay. What do we have going on here? What in the heck is going on? Holy. It's working. So I already had this all popped up and I had it kind of uh, minimized. But then after a while, it closes up. So there was no way to keep it open. I wanted to have it minimized and then with the sound off. That way it wouldn't take this long to load because I already knew this was going to happen. But apparently there's nothing you can really do. Oh, it definitely acts a little bit different. It's a lot of fun though. I was just playing it right before we started our stream. Hey, Willie, what's up, man? Hey, Jackson, how's it going? Oh, I just realized I need to close this. That'll probably help speed up the process. Whoops. Oh, all the clashes are amazing games. I have excellent performance. Super fast internet. But that's probably why it was taking so long, guys, because the game was still up. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that is probably why. Well, there's a lot of things to try and remember, you know? And I suppose when you have two different games running at the same time, it's going to be pulling uh, a ton of memory from your PC ton of memory but we're coming in don't worry we're coming in hot whoa all right guys we're about to play a game called fishing clash and this game is a mobile game and it's available at the iOS store and it's also on uh, it's available if you click on the link in the chat or the description of the stream you'll be able to download the app as we're patiently waiting for this to to start <laughs> Fishing 
Yeah, no, I have incredibly fast performance on my PC. But even like before I started playing the game, uh, it was also loading quite a bit as well. Yep, we're running blue stacks. Whoa, I heard a fish. <laughs> Whoa. All right, I think we're in. Okay, we made it. We're gonna be starting. I think it's a little bit loud, actually. Let me uh, adjust. That's gotta be loud. Is that loud? Let's try it like that. How was that? Is that loud? Okay, that should be good. All right, so we're starting at the Amazon River here. And we're going to try and catch some cool fish. Let's give it a cast and find out. All right, there's our first cast. And we got a bite. So it's cool that you can get so many combos. The better you are at this, the more combos you can get, and then you get tons of XP in the end. Dude, there's a huge gator swimming across right there. What kind of fish is that? I wonder. It's a giant tiara. Piranhas and tooth. So I wonder if that's like a piranha as well. Cool. That was awesome. Um, we're gonna do a player versus player. And then we're gonna go check out a couple of different areas. Fishing. All right, this should be interesting. We're facing Teddy. And we're gonna choose a rare rainbow trout. But we gotta wait for a couple seconds for him to join in. You can actually catch legendary, mythical, rare, and I think even diamond as well. That's so cool that you have mythicals and legendary. Well, legendary would be a diamond, never mind. <laughs> So you can catch mythical, rare, and legendary. All right, we're in. Whoa, take a look at the graphics here. We're gonna be using a, looks like a spinner bait. And our primary goal here on the Kenya River is to catch some rainbow trout. All right, cast is in the water. And we got a fish on. This hopefully is gonna be a big enough rainbow trout to be able to beat Teddy's biggest fish. But yeah, you can do player versus player. You can do battle mode. You can do all kinds of different modes here. This is a brook trout. I thought we were fishing for rainbow trout, but we got ourselves a brook trout here. And it's a 1.97 pounder. That is not gonna help us win. <laughs> it actually says it's tiny, but we can upgrade here and upgrading will help us catch some bigger fish. We definitely need all the help we can get right now. So that would be pretty cool if we can upgrade. All right, there we go. And let's get a cast out there. Oh, we barely had any time to cast. And we got a fish on, oh my God, no. Oh, this fish is not gonna count. Wow, they really, really uh, kind of got you. Uh, you got to stay on your toes to be able to get these fish. This is a lot to try and deal with here. Um, hopefully he didn't catch a big fish, but it looks like we got another fish on. Let's see if we can't get him in. Oh, it's a big one. This is a really big fish. Hopefully Teddy didn't get a big one. Even though, oh, it's a giant too. Wait, is it? It's a good size one, 7.4 pounder. Yeah, that's definitely a beautiful fish. I don't think that counted though. Oh, it's a tie. So did that not count then? Wow, that was awesome. We tied. What a heck of a rush. Let's go to a different area now. 
I want to actually head over to... Um, I'm thinking the Florida coast or maybe... Ooh, the Loch Ness could be fun. Whoa. That's a lot of different places you can fish. Lots of different places. Hey, what's going on, country kid? Okay. I'm trying to get back to the top here. Oh, uh, there we go. Finally. Let's go to Lake Guntersville. We got largemouth bass here. And probably crappie. Some cool fish. Spinner blade? Yeah, I know, right? All right, we're loading in right now. Getting a bit of uh, some loading issues here. How do you guys like Fishing Clash? I mean, it's a lot of fun to play it on your phone. I always play it on my phone. But since I have an Apple, I can't play on my phone and stream it at the same time with the settings that I need to have. So that's why we're doing it on a computer. But it's pretty fun. I like to play it a lot. All right, I guess we're not going to Guntersville. Maybe not. Or maybe we will. Well, at least it's not happening live during a stream. <laughs> hey, we made it. We made it to Guntersville, Lake Guntersville. Wonder what kind of fish they have here. All right, we're gonna claim some rewards here quick. Ooh, I wanna catch one of those, a big largemouth bass. 120 coins and some pearls. Sheep's head. I feel like these fish are in Florida. We would catch a lot of these when I was little with my grandma. And these were really good. We would eat these on the beach. But I didn't know they were out where largemouth bass were. But I guess that makes sense. I mean, there's largemouth bass in Florida too. Okay, let's give it a cast out there. And take a look at our bait. That's pretty cool. Whoa, I did not click that. Do not. Nope, I didn't do that. I did not click that. Okay, good. All right, we're giving a cast out there. And let's see how it works. Hey, thanks, DD33 fan. Thanks, DD33 fan. I appreciate that. We got a fish on. Oh, what do we wonder what we got? Probably a sheep head, but who knows? What PC do I have? I have an eye by power. Dude, what the heck did we catch? An American paddlefish. 18 pounder. Look at that. And we'll get 13 coins as well. That's pretty cool. Um, but I have a, I just got the 3070 Ti GTX graphics card. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's try for another duel. Whoa, this will be interesting. Hey, I appreciate that, Beaner. You just downloaded it. Nice, Cody. That's awesome. 
Yeah, so if you use my code, which is in the description, code DD33, you'll get some pretty cool rewards. I'm glad to hear that, man. Yeah, fishing clash for sure. All right, so now we are somehow in the Meridian Sea. Um, what? Oh, I guess I guess we're fishing in the Meridian Sea with uh, our competition here. Wow, I didn't even see what just happened because last time I checked, we were in Lake Gantersville. But now, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a big fish. Holy. That's a dusky grouper. And that thing weighed 28 pounds. That is a massive fish. 18 coins as well. All right. We got to fish more. Did we win? I don't honestly know if we... I think we might have won. It didn't say we lost. All right, I really didn't want to be in this area because it's loud. This boat is super loud. When you're when you're trolling like this, it's super loud. It's a lot of fun, but it's re really, really loud. Like, super, super loud. Let's go to Florida. Let's go to Florida, shall we? And I don't know how I'm supposed to know, like, how long it's been, but... We'll catch one more fish here in Florida. Please go fast. Please go fast. All right. Now I'd like to purchase something. So let's purchase. We should make our rod stronger first off here. It's locked. Oh, I can't get that. Never mind. Where is that spot? Heavier fish. Oh, that could be cool. Let's get some heavier fish. Just a little bit. I don't want to spend all of our coins. I'm actually planning on doing another one soon. How do I... Change this map? Yeah, I want to... Trying to get a heavier rod. I guess we can't do that yet. Licenses. Skills. Let's go to the shop. Which one are you talking about? All right, there we go. Let's get some lures here. Lures for hogfish. Oh, that would be cool. Look at that. It's a rare hogfish. Let's get some lures for that. And this thing. That looks sweet. It's a Nassau grouper. Wow. So that'll be cool. We can get some packs as well. Pack of rods. Yeah, let's get some Florida coast rods. Whoa, that's a little bit too much. Can't quite afford those right now. Power-ups. This is what I was looking for. Power-ups. Speed. Let's increase some speed. I use uh, Moivi. M-O-A-V-I. That's awesome, Austin. Oh, I forgot I can't do that. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so now our speed will be increased. Epic, epic. 
And we did the weight already. We could probably do some more weight. No, we already did that. Um, multi hooks. There we go. Now we'll catch more fish. Or we won't miss as many fish. That was cool, man. Yeah, right now. For anybody joining the stream right now, we're playing Fishing Clash here. And we are getting some cool equipment. We just got some lures all loaded up here. Some lane snapper would be cool too, though. Get some power-ups, some pearls, some tokens. Everything's looking pretty good here so far. Um, I was trying to get a bigger rod, but I think we're good in that in that aspect there. Fishing battle. I wonder if we could try this. One player out of eight ready to battle. Oh, so we have to wait... Yeah, that's going to be way too long. Let's just give her a cast out there. And we'll catch one fish here. Then we'll get back to getting some hunting in. Oh, look at that. They got the heart and the football for Valentine's Day. Because of Super Bowl. That was so cool. Hey, what did you guys think of the Super Bowl? Did you watch it? Black sea bass. I've actually caught one of those before. That is awesome. 4.38 pounds. And some nice coins as well. Very cool. All right. So that was cool. We'll get back to that in a little bit. But right now. I'm going to try and keep this opened. Yeah, I think I actually could be able to keep this open. Um, and then. Well. Who knows how this is going to work? <laughs> I honestly don't know if this will work. I mean, I know it will work, but I don't know like how good it will work. Because now we're going to have two different streams open at the same time. Could be interesting. But here we go. Whoop. Let's do Got to turn our fish camera off for a second And our hunting camera back on Hey, there we go. All right. So let's see. Welcome back, guys. Let me know if you guys can see everything good. We we're out here a little while ago and we got ourselves a nice buck. But apparently the bucks don't roam around. Um, during drink time anymore. You got to get out here early in the morning before the Well, I guess before they drink oh, There's another really good spot for whitetail down over here and I'd love to go over there and try and get some whitetail Hey buyer, what's up man? Welcome back How's it going? Hey, Mr. Fresh Texan, what's up? All right, there should be some white teal over here. But let's check this. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys all. Hey, country kid, welcome back, man. All right. There are definitely deer over there. I'm seeing one right there, and there's actually a couple deer over there. But what do we got over there is the question. Doe. Doe. 
So. So I hope that's not a doe too. But I think it is. Oh no, they're all does. Well, I'll tell you what. If we go over here and there's all does. <laughs> we are going to take them out with the AR-308 and the red dot sight. That's going to happen if we go over there and there's all does. We're going to take down the entire herd of does. But the bad thing is, is that since we're going to be in the tree stand, it's not going to matter and we're not going to lose the zone. But if we're not in the tree stand, then we're not going to be able to take down the whole herd. So it's kind of like one of those things where you give some and you take some. Hey, Silent Juggler, how's it going, buddy? Happy Valentine's, Chief. Happy Valentine's, buddy. Why do y'all like whitetail so much? That's a really good question. The reason I like whitetail so much is because I grew up hunting whitetail and I still do bull hunt whitetail all the time. So I can relate to real life hunting whitetail. And since they're in the game, then I love that because I feel like I'm hunting in real life. All right, what's the quality looking like for you guys? Hey, Silver, how's it going, buddy? Happy Valentine's. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a moose out there. And they're all does, you guys. Every one of them is a doe. Well, we got the AR-308 and the red dot sight. And... Woo! They're all hit. If they're hit, they're going down. There's one that's not hit. There's one that's not hit. I think she's hit. And honestly, that pull up there cost me that last doe. Like, we reloaded, and I hit the right-click mouse button, but my scope didn't pull up. So I waited for a couple seconds, because sometimes, if you hit the button again, it will actually counteract your initial reaction. So, yeah, that definitely cost us one deer. But I do believe we took down the entire herd of deer. There's 200 plus drink zones on the New England mountains for moose. Wow. I never would have thought that. Hey, Austin. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks, Ovra. All right. There's a doe. And there should be a couple more does over here as well. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm doing excellent. Thanks for asking, Sovra. Whole freezer is full of venison now. Just recently got some meat processed. And the freezer is actually so full that I have to have it taped so it doesn't open up. <laughs> so it can stay shut. I'm not joking. Whoa, what was that? That had to be a fox, guys. Mm, no, that was a deer. That was one of those does. All right. Switching back over to drink time, but this time we're going for moose. We are retiring from the whitetail for a little while. Holy, these whitetail have been something. I don't quite understand like how they're so difficult to find at this point, but they are. They really, really are. Huh. Hey, what's going on, Lori? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> what in the heck am I looking at? What is this, guys? Is this... Oh, that's where... <laughs> I was like, there is a dead deer right there. But how did it get here? Well, it's one of the deer that we shot. And ended up right next to our back porch. What a coincidence, huh? Got it on the run right in the vertebrae. 110 yards. We'll take it. We will take it. Is the M1 or the AR-308 better? Good question. Honestly, I'd say technically they're almost exactly the same. But the AR-308 might be like a millisecond faster. And that's pretty much it. I don't really see any other differences, to be honest. But we'll grab some more bullets for the 300 Magnum. And some for the AR-308. This time we're only going for moose. That's it. No more whitetail. I'm all done. How did it go? Hey, Chiefs. Did you uh, enjoy the Super Bowl? Yeah, see, there's a lot of spots over here for moose, too. Oh, I haven't gone there for whitetail in a while. That's where I want to go. But by the time we get over there, they're not going to be there anymore. That's all right. Yeah, I was pumped when I saw the results. I don't know if you watched my last video, but in the end of it, I basically said that it was a once in a lifetime Super Bowl game, and I've never seen a game like that in my entire life. It was absolutely breathtaking. It was so good. So good. Oh, I thought you said... Who did win it? Did I get a fox in real life? Yeah, I've gotten two fox in real life. One with my 17 HMR and one with um, my brother's AR-223. I've gotten a coyote too. Ooh, there we go. There we go. See, you always find stuff when you're not looking for it. But we got a whole entire herd of bedded whitetail out there. One trivial, which is not impressive. But... There very well could be a decent buck in there somewhere. You know, I've actually seen a good buck here too. I'd say a pretty good amount. Dude, there's a doe laying way the heck over there. Look at that. Wow. If that was a buck, we would definitely take the shot. When I got the fox? Oh, I wonder... Is that what happens? Um, that should be there. Mm. Oh, no. Hold on, 
on, I gotta check something once. I gotta check something once. No, it should be there. I see it right now. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, I love bows. I love bows. What do you mean it's not there? Definitely there. Scared the crap out of me. But you didn't see the what? The hole? Oh! Throw. Yeah, okay, I get it. Hmm. I wonder if I could do that then. I think I could maybe do that. That was definitely not in the description. Uh, what's going on, Ultimate Trick Shots? Hold on one second. Mm. Lots of stuff is going on, Silver. Okay. So then I'm wondering if it would work now. Should be working. Again, we gotta check. Can't see now. Oh yeah, okay, it is working. All right. Problem should be solved. Hey, ultimate trick shots. Oh, I think I already said hi to you. What's up, man? Um, right now we're going over to a spot where there should be some moose. Yeah, definitely should be some moose here. All right, buddy, sounds good. Take care. Well, it's not that it wasn't working. It's just that I didn't know what I was supposed to do. My bow is set at 70 pounds with a 31 inch draw length. Thank you, Mason. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I think there was actually some good bulls over here last time.
Hey, deer hunter, how's it going, buddy? Whoa, that is not a deer. Golden eye. It seems like the moose are picky as far as what lakes they drink at sometimes. The white. Oh my god! Oh! There's a bull. A big bull. Big bull. Dude, he's only 100 yards out. We could get in range to take that thing down with the recurve. <gasps> I'm like looking all over this whole lake here trying to find a bull. And there's one right perfectly broadside on that point. Yeah, we got the recurve here. Dude, if we can get to 80, I would definitely let one fly. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but... If he's 100 right there, then if we can get 30 yards closer, that would put us at 70. So, yeah, it should be possible. Yeah, guys, if you want, definitely check out the link in the description, and you can also scan the QR code right over there, or I think you can click on it, and it will bring you the Fishing Clash app. You've been watching for some years. I appreciate that, Eli. Thank you. Ooh, we're running uh, about 60 FPS right now, so everything's going pretty smooth for what we have to work with here, and our bull is 80 yards. I said if we can get to... Oh, I said if we can get to 80, we're going for the shot. And we're 80. But... That bull is in a little bit of brush there. Can we slide over? Boy, those ducks are loud. We can get to a pocket. Oh, I'll take that shot. I'll take that shot. 80 yards. Here we go. 65. Hold it right. Oh, smoked him. Got him a little bit high. But. Did we get vertebrae? I think we got vertebrae. There's no way we got vertebrae twice, unless it just takes a little while for the percentage to drop. Dude, that shot looked epic to me. Oh, I see a bull running over there. That's not looking too good. Oh, no. We need to follow up. Not even close, I don't think. I pretty much guarantee we hit that thing right in the vertebrae. But you know what? 80 yards with the recurve bow. Vertebrae shot. I'll take it. I will take it. Hey, bird watching. What's up, man? All right, let's check the hunting pressure. What? No hunting pressure from both of those bulls. So what are we shooting? Like 300 grain arrows at that bull or what? How did he not go down? Dude. Does it really not take him down with an arrow? I did not know that. Well, we might be able to call him back in and get a follow-up shot. Started playing a month ago. Now I'm watching other people play. It's an addiction. I hear you, Stormin. What's your favorite map? Now I kind of wish we went to taking that follow-up shot. Well, now we got hunting pressure. 
Boy, that took forever to get that hunting pressure. Got a duck in the water there. Got him. Got him too. I mean, we're super accurate with this thing. We just shot a little bit high. There's no reason we should have shot above the lung though. I just don't really understand that. I mean, I would say luckily he wasn't that big, but he was pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't small by any means at all. Perfect double lung vertebrae shot there. And headshot, 50 yards. So did our bull even go down? All right, that's uh, not even the spot that I wanted to get to. I want to get over here anyways. Oh, so since we got to go over there, we might as well go track him down, I suppose, right? Yeah. Let's track him down. All right, how are we doing over here? Wow, the good thing is we're not missing any frames. So that's awesome. You've been liking Silver Edge Peaks the last couple weeks, trying to get a Diamond Muley. You know, those Diamond Muley are just incredible, especially if you get the biggest one where you have that two, no, not two, three 40 plus rack. Like, they're super, super hard to find, but they are absolutely incredible. Even the 315 plus are, uh, you know, they're super cool, but once you get the super, super wide one, they're incredible. It's been actually a while since I've seen one. For a while, I remember we hunted them nonstop, and I think, I think we have like 10 or 15 big true rack diamond muley. And then we also have three of the big rack OG diamond muley too. Thanks redneck life, I appreciate that man. What am I even doing? Oh, we're going over here. Dude, this bull ran right to the spot that we want to go to. There's blood right there. Twenty-five percent. Profile picture. Oh. Whoa. Uh, one second.
Uh, the maintenance guy is here to change out my light bulbs. <laughs> and I've been waiting a long time to get the light bulbs. I could tell him to just leave them here, but... I don't know. Dude, this pull is running so far, it's ridiculous. Yeah, fish, it's, it's my job. <sighs> I know my mic's off. It was off. <laughs> this is so funny. This bull's not going down. I think it stopped bleeding. Hmm. No, it's still bleeding. Well, I mean, I could pause the stream or just mute it, so I decided to mute it.
Yeah, so people, they can watch when you're playing the game. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. The light works. Wow. There's been so many times that I wanted to have the light to turn on, but it, it wouldn't turn on. Because then when you're uh, streaming at night, too, sometimes it gets dark. Yeah. And that, that light over there is too far away to shine this way. Yeah. I mean, I could turn some of those if you wanted. Oh, no, that's fine. This is good. Yeah, because this, this can be turned in all any... Yeah. Uh, maybe. Like, oh, all set. Huh. Hey, what's up, Silver? That's funny. You're the king of fishing clash, huh? I am Strand. How have you been? Holy cow. It's awesome seeing you again. Okay, I'm back. I think you guys can hear me, right? Hey, we got a super chat. Puppies, 999. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. And... I'm going to keep it like this just so I can see it, but... How's it going, Jacob? Oh, Jacoby and Tristan, what's up, man? Thanks so much for watching the videos. I appreciate that. And thank you again for another super chat. Puppies999. You're awesome, man. Thank you so much. Which side of the deer has the most meat? What? I don't know. How are you supposed to know that? I'm absolutely blown away at the fact that this bull moose ran this far. It's still bleeding as well. More blood here. You can hear good? Okay, Cody. Sounds awesome, man. Thanks for the update. What do you mean, Silvera? What do you mean by that? Ah, the inside. I get it. That's a clever one. What type of work do you do? Did you do before this full time? Then I'm a fire. Oh, you're a firefighter in Arkansas. That's awesome, fish. So I used to do construction work full time. And here is our bull. We did hit it in the vertebrae. It was a good bull too. 210. Oh man, that thing ran 600 yards from that shot. Then we hit it again, which potentially could have saved it. And we got so robbed. We nicked that shoulder. It was going right for the neck. Oh my God. Well, at least we figured out where we hit him and why he actually did go down. So if we wouldn't have hit him twice, I don't think that bull would have went down from that shot. But 76 yards. Again, the rangefinder really messed us up this time. But at least we found him. Yeah, that must be a very interesting job being a full-time firefighter in, in Arkansas. Wow. 
All right, we got to get down here quickly. These moose are not going to hang around too much longer. Hey, Wes Scott, how's it going, man? It's going really good for me. Thanks for asking. Electricians never get enough credit for what they do. They are the best. That's true. Yep. I used to be an electrician for quite a while as well. Did it for three and a half years. Right out of high school. Gonna be right back. Be good. <laughs> Sounds good, Sovra. Yeah, make sure you're back in like five minutes, okay? Just kidding. Hey, there we go. Davy Crockett. Wait, Davy, I thought you were. Why are you not? I thought you were. Well, you are now. If you weren't before, you definitely are now. So, welcome to hashtag mod squad. Hey, wolf. We got a couple wolves here. The wolf that I know has uh, a wolf emoji. Or I should say, like, a wolf uh, profile picture. I don't think that's you, is it? EAG, what's going on, man? Welcome. The recurve does shoot high, huh? Yeah. You know, I've been noticing that. The recurve shoots high. Um, what else shoots high? The compound bow shoots high. A lot of things shoot high. Even the AR-308 shoots a little bit high as well. I really, really wish there was a way that you could sight in your own rifles and or bows in-game. I feel like that would definitely be game-changing as well. Of course, Davy. I thought you honestly were one before. I remember you from so long ago that I thought for sure you were. What's up, Gavin's Outdoors? How's it going? Are you ready for turkey? Oh, I'm pumped for turkey. I am pumped. That reminds me, I got to start practicing a lot more. I haven't shot my bow in like two months now. Uh, I was actually debating on getting a new site, a single pin site, because I've shot um, pin sites my whole life. But when you're turkey hunting on a decoy setup out of a ground blind, they usually come in within 20 or 30 yards. And, you know, I feel like maybe you might be better off having a single pin. That way you don't get too distracted with all your other pins and whatnot. And especially when they come in full strut, they look a lot bigger. So by the time they are full strut and you're at full draw, it's like you're putting two pins on them at the same time and it can be distracting. It really can. But I don't know. What do you think a lot? What do you think about that? Game is zoomed in a lot. That is probably because we are in uh, screen mode right now. We're in screen mode. Well, Scott, just watch your video where you got the diamond black grouse. Any good luck and birds with the shotgun. Yeah, I'm glad you liked that video. Well, there we go. Oh, another fox. Air rifle, take him on the run. Woo! What a shot! What a shot! Did you see that? That may be the best shot we ever made with this air rifle. To be able to drop that fox on the run with the air rifle at 80 yards. What in the heck did we hit? I mean, spine shot? I don't know. I don't even know if we would have got that. I feel like we would have hit vertebrae. Holy, another super chat from puppies999. How's it going, man? Trying to go real life fox hunting. Tips. Oh, thanks so much for the super chat. And... Oh, fox hunting. It's all about patience and doing scouting in certain areas. Like, if you know there's an area where there's been a lot of pheasant or birds in the area, then there's a good chance the fox hang out there too. Or especially near, like, chicken farms or old barns, stuff like that. You'll have structures, and that is where the fox hang out. But what an epic, epic shot. 84 yards on the trot, and we dropped him right there. With a perfect lung shot right behind that front shoulder. What a sweet shot and a beautiful looking fox. All 
All right, let's try and get a nice bull moose down here. There definitely should be some. If there's moose here, can't imagine there won't be moose over here. I am Strand. What's up? Thank you. I appreciate that. I am not even... <laughs> hey, we all started somewhere, you know? That's what's really important to remember. And never forget that. <gasps> moose, 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 moose. Oh, nice bull, nice bull, nice bull. Big, big bull. That's a big four. That's a 200 plus right there, guys. Oh my God. He is right behind the backside of this ridge right here. We're gonna get a second chance at a big bull with the recurve bow. There he is right there. Yes. 100 yards out and we're going prone. This time we're gonna smoke that thing. We'll get to 80 yards and hold for top of the lung. Every time, I always hold a little bit too high, compensate for the drop. But this time, we're going to hold it right on. What's your biggest moose? Well, we got a 250 the other day, but the biggest of all time is like 305. So yeah, that's pretty cool. There's a duck over there. Yeah, I could tell he was going to be big from far away. And he sure is. He's only 108 yards out. We're going to come in right behind that tree there. So let's ease our way over there. We got to be careful not to spook this other bull though. Because he could easily bust us at this point. Oh, when I claim animals? Okay, that's good to know. Well, at least it'll be good for you guys, because then you guys will be able to see when we take far shots with the recurve bow, what it looks like. All right, so the big bull is right behind those trees. The wind is starting to shift off a little bit left, which I'm not super pumped about, and that definitely is gonna affect our shot. So we'll have to hold a tad bit right to compensate for that wind. Now, I would love to be able to get to 50, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. So we might go for an 80 yard shot again. 90. Dude, what a perfect angle for that shot. 90 yards right there. We're going to let one fly right through those trees. This time we're going to get to 80, just like we did last time. And I'm holding right for the top of the lung. There we go, 80 yards, holding right for the top of the lung, and we are going. Oh, well, we got to get to 60 first here. All right, here we go. We're pulling back, holding right for the top of that lung. Dude, our follow-up was perfect. Oh my God. We got him. So... That doesn't really make much sense to me because our first shot, we were holding right for the spine, top of the lung, and we dropped right below the heart. So the second shot I held in the exact same spot that we did on our first bull, and we ended up smoking that bull right before he got a chance to take off. And I do believe he's already down. Yes, he is. He's already down. Our follow-up just saved that massive bull. Holy... Now, I don't recommend going for 80 yard shots consistently with the recurve bow. In fact, you should probably never do that. But since we don't have a good wind, we really didn't have any other options. I mean, that bull would have busted us, that cow would have busted us, and we would have been completely out of luck. Just got a beautiful bull right now. 200 plus. He should be another like 215 probably. Man, that was awesome. There goes that small bull. Oh, he's not small. I mean, he's not big, but he's definitely not tiny. Here is our big bull. Look at this. I cannot even believe 
we were able to pull up a follow-up shot and connect so well on this bull. Like that follow-up shot was cash money, guys. Look at where that arrow is. That's literally a heart shot. I could not even make this up if I tried. That is heart all day long. Let's pick him up and find out how we did. Got him on the spin. Look at that shot. You gotta realize we're kind of high up on the ridge shooting downwards. So with the angle of the arrow there, we got him right below the neck and got a double lung shot at 87 yards on a 212 gold bull moose. There we go. Whew, what a save. What a save indeed. Wow. All right. Let's see if we can try and transition this time a little bit smoother. Hey, look at that. There we go. Seems like it just might work finally. Let's get rid of this. And then if we go. Actually, we're already all set up here. All we got to do is. All right, guys, now we're going to head back over to Fishing Clash and we're going to get some more awesome fish. See if we can't beat some more competitors and have fun out there. If you guys want to play Fishing Clash, you can download it. Um, click on the link in the stream chat or you can click on the description on the top of the description. And if you use the code DD33, then you'll get a really cool uh, gift. All right, that's a great looking bull though. Man, that's a great looking bull. Holy, what a heck of a save. All right, we're just closing out of this so we can get some better FPS. Buy fish? No, nah, we're going back for fish. We're going back for the fish. Just gotta close this out though. Okay. The fish are coming right now here we go we're back for the fish well good thing you guys can't see that or at least i hope you can't <laughs> uh can you see that okay no good Whew. that's a good thing all right here we are in florida and last time we caught ourselves a nice grouper Let's see if we can't catch another nice fish out here. But we're going to do a duel. Alright, let's try and catch. Bull trout. That would be cool. So I've been watching Alone lately on Netflix and they've been catching bull trout. I've never seen one before, but that's quite interesting. And they seem to get pretty big. But I guess we're going to be going for... Round whitefish? Alright, so we're fishing the Kanye River. Here we go. Whoa. Fish on. Thanks, Davey. <sighs> wow, you got to be careful. These fish pull hard. Wow, okay. We definitely cannot have that happen again. It's very crucial that we make sure we pay attention to the line. Because if that happens, we lose a big fish. I didn't realize how big these fish are. Oh my God, this fish is pulling hard. We got him. It's a round white fish. This fish is not even as big as the one that we had last time. It's only a one pounder. Wow. Give up. The guy gave up. What? Oh no, I guess we could. Interesting. So we could give up if we wanted to, but we are not going to be doing that. Well, good luck, Austin. All right. Another fighter here. Strong fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It ended. It should still count, right? Nope, it won't count. It wasn't that big anyways. White fish. Uh, that was a big one. That was a really big one. 
Let's see how we did not win that one. We did not win that one. But it was a lot of fun though. Let's try and go to a different location here. Okay, let's do a duel. But let's go somewhere else and catch a different fish. Oh, Sauger. White bass. Sauger. Ooh, that'd be cool. What if we get a rare? Imagine if we caught a rare. Or spotted bass we could catch too. There we go. Oh, this thing's pulling. Oh, wow. Look at the little heart. I just noticed that. That's so cool. That's a crappie. Good size crappie, 1.7 pounder. Let's do another level up here. Oh, we can't because we're... I forgot. We're... Oh, my God. We're in the... Uh, the tournament. We're in the battle mode here. All I know is spotted bass. That person's getting some pretty big fish. Yeah, we are definitely not going to win this one. We have 11 seconds left. Real, 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 real. There's no way we're getting this fish in four seconds. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's not possible. So close. There was only a blue go too. Yeah. Not going to be winning. Oh, we won. How did we win that one? Okay. I guess we won. Awesome. Now we can level up here. Sounds awesome, Austin. Oh, new upgrade. Lion's fish. That would be an interesting fish to catch. And... Let's check this one out here. We clicked on this last time. Oh, so these are the missions. You can do a goal, your best score for catching the tree fish. Win a duel with the tree fish. Draw a license bonus for the tree fish. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's try and catch a tree fish. A white spotted box fish? What kind of fish is this? I mean, like, what in the heck is this? Obviously, it's a spotted box fish, but never heard of that before. We're fishing for tree fish. What is a tree fish? We're about to find out. It's a lot of fun when they fight hard. And you really gotta be attentive. You really gotta pay attention to your combos. Great catch, huh? Hey, we got ourselves a... I can't say that word right now, but um, a bump head fish.
So we're winning so far. Another fish. Ohio State Buckeyes, man. Whoa, what do we catch? A puffer fish. I've seen one of those in Florida before. Those are cool. Oh, can you move them? Maybe not. Maybe you shouldn't move them. It's literally like pausing the whole game when I touch it. Whoa, okay. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. But that was pretty cool. We got some points for catching a tree fish. Now we got to try and win a duel with the tree fish. Oh, Duramax, that was an epic, epic hunt right there. Well, thank you, Tyler. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're playing Fishing Clash right now, and you should definitely check it out. I recommend this game a lot. I have it on my phone. I play it all the time. It's super fun. It's really addicting, and the fact that you can level up so much, get all kinds of awesome gear. Okay, what do we want to do? There's the tree fish. That's what we've been looking for the whole time. Oh, my God. I really want to see this tree fish. Come on, tell me we have a tree fish. I plan on doing another one next year, Duramax. In Florida. That is not a tree fish. It's a trigger fish. Cool, interesting looking fish. Orange side trigger fish. 1.7 pounder, but we'll get some coins from that. Let's cast again. I'd really like to catch a tree fish here. Nonetheless, we got uh, only 40 seconds left and we need to get this fish in. Come on, come on. Holy, there's a big puffer fish. Come on, cast again, cast again. Oh, we won. There we go, we won. And so we need to win five duels in order to get 900 points. Let's do... Draw license bonus. Oh no, we already did that. All right, let's go to a different location. Need one star rods to upgrade. Right? It's going to be sweet. I'm excited. The grand tournament. I really like to try this battle mode. Oh, there we go. Now we got people ready. Let's do this. Look at this. We're playing battle mode now. There's eight people here. We're all trying to catch fish. This is fun. Can you imagine eight people trying to catch fish at the same time? Talk about competition. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, we got a fighter. Holy. Dude, the lag is so real because there's so many fish right now. Oh, what do we catch? Oh, it's a lovey. A special lovey. That's so nice. Isn't that sweet, everyone? A lovey for Valentine's Day. Congratulations, round two. You've been prompted to round two. White spotted boxfish. I really want to catch that white spotted boxfish. fish. 
Got one. Got to get as many combos as we can to get them in. Did we catch a box fish? We got one, finally. There we have our white spotted box fish. 11 pounder as well. Look at that thing. Wow. That is such a unique looking fish. We got him. Let's upgrade. There we go. Another fish on. Come on. Got him. Got another box fish. This is actually a medium sized one. 1.1 pounds. You were in six. Oh, okay. Let's check out the results. So where's first place? Prompted to round three, prompted round three, prompted to round three. Fifth place, sixth place, seventh place, eighth place. To me, I'd say we took, we took uh, second place, it seems like. But that was fun. No rewards won. Oh, we did get a reward. Look at that. We got a lovey. The Loch Ness Rod. Oh, heck yeah. We got a new rod. Awesome. I'm pumped about that. Yes, Daniel, this is my favorite fishing game. It's the only fishing game I play on my phone. Oh, sonar. Increase the speed on that. That'll help a lot. Let's go for a rod two, yeah? Oh, there we go. All right, so we should have a stronger rod now, right? Yes, we do. So that's that rod. That's that rod. It shows everything we caught on it. Look at that. Stronger. Okay, we'll go with this one. Awesome. It is a great game. All right, now we're going to go to a different area. Have you played Fishing Clash? Oh, really, Dalton? Lake Guntersville. That's where I want to go back to. Because we started fishing there, but then we entered the tournament, and then we couldn't fish for the bass anymore. So I'd really like to go there and catch a nice bass. Let's catch some bass. Here we go. Come on, big largemouth. Oh, we're getting a hit. We got one on. Hey, welcome back just in time, Silvera. We got a big fish on. We're getting a 20 time, 23 time. Holy, we were breaking the record 25 times. And of course we catch a radier sunfish. Eight pounder though. Wow. 10 coins as well. That's a huge fish. For a sunfish, they don't get much bigger than that. Yeah, Davey is now here, Silver. I don't know if you saw that or not, but we got Davey here. Another sunfish or something pretty small. Oh, you never know. It's pulling pretty hard now. 
Okay, our record is 25. We got 21 there. Whoa! I thought it was a small sunfish. Turns out to be a 21 pound huge channel cat. That is an incredible fish. Look at that thing. All right, let's give her another cast out there. Man, I'd really like to catch a nice largemouth out here. All right, so we got to beat 25 times. Can we do it? Oh, we did it. We're going for 30. Oh, we're going for 40. Oh, I think we got 39. And it's another sunfish. Look at that. 10 ounces. That's a nice size sunfish. But we got 40 times. Or 39 technically. Because I don't think we actually crossed the 40 mark. But See, I want to do it when we have a big fish. Not always on a sunfish. Yeah, that's about all we're going to get there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's pulling, he's pulling, he's pulling. 32. Holy, it's a paddlefish. An epic paddlefish. Look at that. 15 pounder. Whoa. That's a giant fish. We got our power ups all used. And we could potentially catch a colossal. Or a rare saddle grouper here. Wow, look at how big that fish could get. I'd like to get some bigger... Wait a second. Now we already used that. Let's check out some more lures here. Grouper. Guaranteed for red grouper, huh? Start opening. Sunfish? Kind of do. Like, Loki? Sunfish? Kind of do. I don't mind catching big bluegill. Any day of the week, I'll catch big bluegill. But sunfish? I mean, to be able to catch a giant sunfish, it's like super rare. So for the most part, they're all just stealing your bait, right? Yeah, I totally get you on that. Oh, we could catch a, an epic stingray there. We got a couple more packs. Let's open these up. That's what we want. We want a big largemouth. Lion's fish. Sheep's head. We already caught one of those before. All right. We got one more. We'll save that for now. Blue hooks and duels. Let's check out the clans here. Oh, we can create a clan too. Join the clan. All right, let's join. So we can talk to everybody out here. Look at this. Whoa. Hey. The Go-Getter, I like that name. Sweet. Took first place. This is awesome. I do like KG, yep. Let's look at our rewards. We got a first place. We get to open a mystery pack. So 
Oh, that's the reward if we win. That's cool. I like that. So I guess we didn't re we didn't win yet. All right, let's get back in there and catch some more fish. Um, I'd really like to get a largemouth out here. If not, we'll definitely get some catfish. I'll take another cat. Hey, Dalton. Whoa, we got a big fish here. Oh my God, we're breaking 40. We're breaking, ah, oh, 38. It's a spotted gar. That reminds me of those gator gar. You know, I went out like 13 times this year and never got a single gator gar. 13 times. But I saw quite a few of them. It just took a long time to be able to actually get a shot on one. They were too far out. Oh, another fish on. Come on, get 40. 37. I feel like we can't pass that 37 mark. But we got a white crappie. And it's a 1.8 pounder. Nice fish. Oh, very cool, Tyler. That's awesome. There's our sonar. There we go. Oh, we can do a little Valentine mission. Whoa, get a blanket for Ava and let's, or Lee's romantic dinner. Oh, congrats on your albino blue wildebeest. Those are super, super cool. All right, now we can catch white bass or channel cat. Oh, there we go. Now that's a big fish. Look at that cat. 21 pounder. So we got another big catfish. Claim both fish. All right, let's do another duel. You were lucky? Let's try and get some lane snapper. That would be cool. No, no, I want actually. Can you change your mind? No, yeah, lane snapper. Those are the biggest ones. All right, here we go, come on. One minute, 18 seconds. Fish on. Wow, that was a fast reel in. Snapper caught. Get him, get him, get him. Get back out there, get back out there. 58 seconds left. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fish on. <laughs> I know, I saw that. Sometimes it says medium too. Wow, we're getting these fish in here really quickly. Average, see? That's a nice fish. Four pounder. They get all the way out to, I think like 15 pounds, so. Got another one. There we go, small. Four pounder. It looked a lot bigger. 11 seconds. No way, Knack, we're getting this thing in. I wish there was like a turbo mode where you could just like reel in super fast. Oh, so close. Look at it, we got him in at the buzzard. Luckily, it's only a small. 
but hopefully that will give us the win. We lost. Oh. 220, 440. Wow. We kind of got smoked there. We need a rematch. Thanks, Davy Crockett. I appreciate that, buddy. Good job. Walleye? What? No way. We're going for walleye. Hey, Daniel, I'm glad to hear that, buddy. Thank you, man. What's your favorite video of all time? Come on. Are we going to catch our first walleye? I think so. We got our first walleye, and it's a rare 10 pounder. There we go. 17 coins. Get back out there. We got to catch more. <laughs> All right, we got another one on. Appreciate that, Davey. Thank you so much. Come on, big walleye, big walleye. That is not a walleye. It's a crappie, but we'll keep them. Get back out there. Get back out there. Real, 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 real. Got him. Is it a walleye? It's a catfish. Hey, you know what? We'll take it. Except for we didn't get any coins for that, unfortunately. So that's not going to help us out very much. Come on, get him in, get him in, get him in. Oh. Well. It was so close. Look at, we literally lost by like 50 points. Oh man. So close. We could have had him too. Could have had him. Oh, I guess the fish is still on. We're supposed to reel it in. It was so close. Yeah, you gotta time it just right. It's so much fun. Because if you don't catch the right fish, you don't get coins. So then you just end up losing. And that's kind of what happened to us in that situation there. Buffalo cart. Yeah, we lost big time in the end there. We gotta do that again. Legendary. Let's get a legendary Yataba. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, but it sounded cool. Oh, they're out there. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Whoa, this fish is fighting. Whoa, we got a puffer. Get him in, get him in, get him in. This is a lot of competition here. See, we didn't get any points because we didn't catch the right fish. Wow. Nobody's catching the right fish. Oh, see, you can lose the fish. You got to be careful. They can get off. They can get off. All right. 17 seconds left. Can we get him in? Is it going to count? We caught a bump head, some kind of fish, but we are not going to keep that one. We got one coin, one coin. Hey, uh, I mean, technically we tied, but you know what? If you want to give us the win, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take the win. Oh, a hairpin look down, look down. 
Hey, it's Finding Nemo. It's Dory. Ooh, look at that fish. The Pacific Grasby. And the puffer. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, um, if you guys want to play this game, you can definitely click on the link down below and it'll be in the description or go into the, the chat and the live stream and you can click on that as well. But yeah, you should really give it a try because it's a lot of fun. I mean, you can just sit here and play it for hours. Like, I just, I love playing it. I just keep playing it and uh, it's so fun. But now we're gonna get back to hunting. So I wanna thank everyone at Fishing Clash. You guys are all awesome. And yeah, I definitely recommend playing this game. But thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to be able to show everybody how good this game really is. I appreciate it. And I'm sure they do too. All right, let's turn this sound off here. Oh. Wow, that's loud. I wonder if you guys could even hear me. Okay, let's close that. Hey, Dalton, thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Yeah, this is a lot to try and do during a live stream. A lot. One second, guys. I gotta get the game back pulled up. Man, I can't believe we risk, we uh, whisk the shot on two different big bulls today. One that went high, the other one, well, it went high, but one missed and one hit him right in the vertebrae. Oh, heck yeah, Sean. Heck yeah. Oh, there he is. There's a DD-33. <laughs> you couldn't see me? You should be able to now. You play it a lot? Oh, wow, you had a red deer charge you? That's unbelievable. Okay. We really, really need to find some decent white tails here. It's showtime!
Awesome, Dustin. Or awesome, Dalton. I appreciate that. Thank you. Alright, this time we're strictly going for Whitetail. Uh, Sean, if you message me on Discord, I could add you. Why does it look like you said D-Duck 33? <laughs> you got it. Legit down to Mythical Coyote Lane in Lakes five minutes ago. Epic Jugalo. Those mythical coyotes are so awesome. I love getting them. All right, are there gonna be white teal here? I mean, I don't see why there wouldn't be. But at the same time, I don't have any white tail zones down here. Well. Let's try her out. First off, let's make sure we have all this stuff closed. It looks pretty good to me. Hey, Ultimate Hunter 17, what's up, man? Thanks so much. I appreciate all the support. Whoa. Well, that was uh, interesting. Now I'm warning you, there might be any white, there might not be any white tail here. Oh, awesome, Duramax. Thank you, Ultimate Hunter. Hopefully we get some nice bucks. I mean, honestly, if the white tail are drinking, or I should say, if they're feeding out here, then the only place they could drink is obviously here or the river, right? So I feel like there should be whitetail on this river. We're trying to find some. Yo, what's going on, game lover? How's it going? Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that. Hopefully we do. Well, would you look at that? We found the white tail. And, and a good buck. 
Two good bucks, actually. Maybe even three. Can't quite tell if that's one or not. Uh, nope, just two. One there. And one there. Oh, and a raccoon. Oh. I would love to take a shot on that thing. And more whitetail, too. 150 plus, and that is a 150 plus. Like a 180 plus, actually. Yeah, that's a 200 plus. So we came over here to try and find this raccoon. And still haven't found the raccoon, but found a beautiful herd of whitetails here. Where is that raccoon? I don't know. But... If we could somehow pull off a shot on this buck here... With the air rifle, then the other bucks might not spook. Now he's 130 out, so I'm thinking that if we use the second dot down. It didn't even spook him. Oh my god. He is literally still calm. So let's try the first dot this time. The doe got in the way. No. <laughs> the doe got in the way and it dropped right into her. Smoked. Got him, guys. Woo. Man, that's just too cool. It is too cool. Okay, so there's that buck there. And our 200 plus is actually kind of not giving us a good angle for a shot. I haven't seen the raccoon yet. Don't know where the heck he is, but... I'm thinking of going for a perfect neck shot on this buck here at 200. Well, actually, we could go for heart. For sure, smoke that buck. And maybe got that one too. Holy, look at all the deer taking off. Those are all does there. Did we get our buck? Oh yeah, we definitely got... What did we get? Oh, we hit that doe. That's what happened. We hit that doe. Plus the buck, which makes two. Plus one more makes three. But that looks like three hunting pressure, and then this looks like one hunting pressure. So it looks like level four hunting pressure, to be perfectly honest. So maybe we did get that other buck. Maybe we got three bucks and a doe. But the air rifle gave us less hunting pressure for some reason? I don't know. Thanks, Duramax. Yeah, it is pretty sweet, huh? So the type of great moose that I'm looking for, or I should say the great one moose that I'm looking for, is... I guess it's called like the... The winter one. Hey Cooper, what's up? Just say hi one time though man, that's all you gotta do. Hey, there's our buck that we shot with the air rifle. 
I don't know. I think it's like the sage colored one. Dude, how many deer did we just get out of this spot? I am blown away at the fact that the hunting pressure is so intense right here. Please tell me our zone is still around here. We just took out two zones. Not just one, but two entire zones. Well, it would have been a good spot to have, I suppose, but... Can't really do much about it at this point. Hey, Cooper, would you please follow the uh, the rules, please? Thank you. That shot just missed the heart 180 there. Thanks for the help, Davey. No organs hit, so we did hit another deer going through here. And... Yeah, that's it. So I don't know how we would have hit so many deer. There's no more blood. Doe's there. Now I know we hit another doe over there, but let's go over here and get that one with the that we took with the air rifle. Sweet. Here's the one that we got with the air rifle. Take a look at that shot. It looked pretty epic to me, and that's because it was pretty epic. Got him in the right lung on the walk at 150 and 182.70 whitetail buck. Right there we go. Great whitetail buck. Not giant, but it's a great buck. Um, when it comes out, did it come out today? It comes out tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, I like the game. Hey, Trish, how's it going? It's going really good for me. Thanks for asking. Oh, very nice, Cassie. Congrats on your dime potential blacktail buck. Raccoon. There she is. Got her. Reload, reload. Oh, well, there's whitetail down there. I don't think that would have spooked him, would it? Holy! Dude. Dude. No! Did you see that shot? Oh my god, that was epic. Trying to find a nice buck down here. 270 yards down there. Woo! Big buck! Two big bucks. Oh my God. Wow. Holy. That was awesome. But this, this shot right here was probably the coolest ever. I mean, open sights with the air rifle running at like 50 yards double lung shot running at 40 yards open sights 
with the air rifle. Huh. Oh, wow, that was incredible. Might be one of our best shots we've ever made right there. And it looks like we have level 2 hunting pressure because we do have the raccoon here as well. But let's... uh. Wow. It happened so fast. The other buck did go down. We hit him in the front shoulder. And then the last buck, I don't think we actually even got him. But we'll work our way around this next point. Holy look at the hunting pressure. I may be wrong. We may have gotten both bucks. Hey, there's a lot of videos that you can watch on how to get your first diamond. <sighs> More white tail. I don't believe our big buck is over there though. There's a 159 plus there. Doe there. 180 plus there. I mean, it's a good buck. Did you see that? We smoked the dough. She dropped right down, and then we took down our big buck right after that. It worked out so perfectly. And so did that. When did that start to happen? F 15 minutes ago, huh? Dude, so it doesn't lag regular, but it does in game mode, huh? Five minutes ago. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, that's going to be a double lung shot there, and we're going to finish off with the next buck. That we dropped over here and made a super epic shot. But apparently it was blurry. Look at that. Drop the doe, drop the buck, then drop the other buck. Thanks for the confirmation, Davey. I appreciate that. Four fifty-four double lung shot, center lung. Nice man. So there's the dough that we dropped in order to get this buck and made a perfect shot. Double lung spine shot, one ninety-six gold at one hundred and forty yards right there we got them but that's gonna be it for this stream i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh i gotta work on the video for tonight a little bit more do some more editing and stuff like that and um yeah i want to thank all of you guys for being here the whole entire time it means a lot you guys are all awesome and hopefully you have a good rest of your day thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time